25 years female she is complaining of swelling in the submandibular region left submandibular region and the swelling increases in size after having the meal so this is the case of submandibular sialolithiasis first of all we will see the anatomy because it is uh, very difficult uh, to see evaluate the anatomy of the neck as a fresher this is the this tongue shape is the submandibular gland it is the right submandibular gland i am showing it the normal submandibular gland this cystic area it is the artery in the submandibular gland the probe is placed like this here when you put this probe like this you see this submandibular gland tongue shape these are the margin this okay now we will see the pathological submandibular gland this is the submandibular gland and uh, here in the medial border this is submandibular gland okay in the medial border here there is some any quick area so let us see whether it is blood vessel or it is not showing the color flow okay now if you see it carefully this duct is going towards the submandibular gland the, this this is the duct which is coming out from the submandibular gland and here you see carefully this is the calculus in the duct this hyperechoic area is the calculus in the duct <coughs> it is showing posterior acoustic shade also if you observe it carefully like uh, calculus in the kidney okay very easy if seen once in lifetime no any high five diagnosis very easy diagnosis but you should come across this type of case this is this is the duct and the probe probe is placed over here like this okay you see the posterior acoustic shadow very clearly Now what is the size five centimeters or uh, five mm okay and the rest of this uh, texture of this submandibular gland is normal vascularity normal This is the calculus, hyperechoic.